wonderful ladies and gentlemen most welcome to my channel the voice of evolution the voice of progress i am charlotte chi and uh, moving together with you in the awakening process in which massive truths will come around why in front of you in the, these incoming years is it's gonna be massive it can be no other right because i mean so much has been killed so much is turning around so much will change on a plane that is piled with what with mental disorders is your brain in perfect order is it mine is not <laughs> nobody's brain is but what we had to move through what we had to suffer what we had to digest what we awakening to so today let's go over a bit what big pharma wants no psychedelic drugs big pharma wants to rule the world of mental diseases and those suffering from a high level of PTSD and so, so much more. Is there an end to it? Is there? Is there not? There is an end to it, believe me. There should be, and there has to be. And we um, can stream and investigate and allow a brand new vision onto that. If we just, you know, start to believe in new capacities new capabilities new skills okay it needs some knowledge it needs some intelligence it needs some degree of education because without education education is the name of this planet we educating evolving we educating becoming a master of yourself becoming a master of knowledge intelligence healing uh, that is going to cover the best of all and re-educating healing is going to heal the planet right so going back to the origin of sources and forces resources uh whatever you term it so i think i want to share some uh important experience here as i was growing in my light uh, environment and uh, you know, I came um, into contact with one person who suffered from PTSD from birth on. And it seemed to be, I was a young person, like maybe uh, early 30. And they only discovered it while well, he was around 25. And uh, so that whole family was so sick. The father left that environment because the mother was like crazy as hell and she turned her kids crazy as hell so that particular person i'm talking about at ptsd on a severe level he would take a lot of wheat making holes in the brain actually so nothing is bad when uh, taken at times but on an everyday level it doesn't particularly heal it kills other vibrations in the body so to make a long story short uh we came in con into contact and my specialty my passion is editing uh neurons neurologic and uh, the neurological outlet the electricity how it fires how it merges how it does and i had huge healing sessions with huge huge results in there and so um that person told me when I met him and having um, a drink with him, that was just released from a mental institution. And I said, but you know, he, he took some medication, but he knew the counter effects of that meditation, medication. And so I got to learn about his family. So it was actually about the mother as his sister who had the same symptoms but she left home very early and she knew how sick the mother was upon uh, her children 
and so um, she had that PTSD as well. She luckily moved out of it. She became a very great musician in Belgium. She has a great uh, family with plenty of kids and would never allow that vibration of that mother that was so dominant. I mean, you do, as I say, that was all you could do in that household. And so as I came to visit that young person on an everyday level, we became good friends. And uh, I started to heal him with my light technology, with light codes, and that went very fast. And so she started to get jealous. But then one day um, I said, well, why don't you move out here? Because it's that environment, you're the dominance of your mother, her sickness, her jealousy, and all the streams of low consciousness that is actually killing you. He said, I know it does, and, um, but he was so afraid. So I suggested, suggested, why don't you move in with me? I teach you the healing. I will heal you out inside out. And then we move on from there on. And then you can always choose, you know, to do whatever it takes. Because if you stay in that environment and you have to go uh, to those training and psychiatric institutions, like on an everyday level, and it's killing uh, your highest skills. Like he was a great artist. He, he had intelligence beyond I could ever dream of, you know. So I thought it was worthwhile also for me to test. I'm speaking here about 10 years ago. And uh, so that's what he did. He moved in. And the first day he had his own flat. I had a big house, so he had his own flat and stuff. And he went to the Dutch from me. So just as an observation deck, I started to heal him. And the first day he came downstairs, he said, I don't need any medication anymore. I mean... There's a, so much freedom, 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 freedom over here. I said, I told him he could do anything he wanted because I was not afraid he was going to do anything bad. I was such a beautiful person. I said, you want to perform your arts, uh, paint and do stuff, you can do that. You want to communicate with me and, you know, research a lot in the music. He was a lot in the music industry as well. We, we could make music together. So that went so great for one month and he said, I'm ready to leave every level of medication. So we cut that down and every time we cut down, I did a healing on his glandular structure and his nervous system, healed the psychology he was birthed in. So that dense situation with his family, his mother and his sister and everything. And then uh, once at a time, his mother, came in she was always welcome of course I mean I don't believe but she had such a negative hateful vibration upon her face she came in and uh, she had a private conversation with her son and that moment he left my flat so what happened I heard afterwards he tried to kill himself immediately. They, these people are very much suicidal. And um, yeah, he was uh, being put in a hospital and they saved their lives. He didn't remember anything. Then a few days later, his mother put him in a mental institution and I went to visit him every day. So I came to know what happened. His, his mother told him that if he would keep on living with me and I would keep on healing him with my light technology. I talk a lot about this in other videos. So if you're not acquainted with me, I'm brand new here on YouTube. Please uh, allow yourselves to subscribe to my channel and receive loads and loads of information that is brand new on the Google machine because I will overwrite anything that was falseness in information. And so we have plenty of that, right? And so to make that story short, I uh, continued my healing in that institution. And then that mother came to visit and again, and so he was about to return home, but uh, he didn't. And I wondered why. So, um, it appeared to be 
that um, the psychiatrist that was um, assigned to him uh, kept him in that institution upon demand of his mother while he didn't do anything wrong he was quite all right although he was taking his medication again right because it's prescribed because otherwise that particular psychiatrist would not or would lose her five thousand dollars sponsoring from big pharma a month i mean <laughs> make it shorter and shorter this uh, story and so months and months went on and on and um then uh, that mother didn't allow me to visit her son anymore in the home place or the home environment so at that particular time we had loads of chats on social media i came to know what happened he was being put on extreme high medication scan I, said, I don't know all those sorts so you have a whole list that uh, break and not make the body it breaks your brains it cuts away your skills it cuts out mentality it cuts your uh, capacity to everything you sort of become a robot uh, your artistic skills are all gone because you cannot perform them anymore with all the, those synthetics in that medication i think most people relating to psd have them in their family or do have friends or whatever can uh, relate to that and so i thought this is really really going wrong here so um i was very concerned about him and uh i mean i had such a great progress he was about to step out and to uh, you know lead a life on his own with some support and he was perfectly capable of doing that so the only person who kept that back was his sick mother she was mentally more sick than he was and i remember it was around christmas time uh, new year's time uh, i had his mother on the phone and i had him on the phone <laughs> and his mother was banging her head against the wall and she said i am crazy i'm going crazy nick you need to help me you need to help me you need to come over i know you can do it and she was screaming and on the other phone <laughs> was that particular person calling me and he said can you please come over because i cannot hold on anymore can you please delete it from my brains i know you can do it and you know um very quickly and so <laughs> there i was so of course uh you know i cared so much about him so um yeah they they lived like a 10 minutes walk from my place so um I went over there, I met him and he said, please, you know, heal my mother first, I can handle myself for a while, <laughs> because they were both banging their heads against uh, the wall, going crazy and stop, but I knew why, you know, all the overdoses and everything that happened to the poor guy due to his mother and his mother was, you know, more mentally sick than uh, than anyone else in the surrounding and um, so yeah uh, i sort of uh, sold it and um, took her by the hand calmed her completely down with light technology degrees of light i went into the mansion got my direct connect with my source fused it to the brains the electricity went to my hands i get the codes and then I just laid her down. I was not at the stage that I wanted to completely to heal her. I wanted her to be out of the life of that uh, of her son, right? And then I continued to heal him. What a situation <laughs> around Christmas, right? But I learned so much from it. And um, I do know with light technology, that is my message here today, we can do so many things so quickly, and especially uh, people with an overdosis of mental psychosis, PTSD, whatever it is termed, it shouldn't even be termed or defined, it is just, you know, having been fused 
uh, with disorders that shouldn't have been on the airplane, uh, however. So um, it's a call actually for more healers to be willing to learn this than to teach it in universities, than to teach it to psychiatrists that are open and on and on and on. And uh, I must say, um, so I, I knew so once in a month, uh, that particular person would retire in the woods for two or three days, like a weekend and to uh, invite a friend that was in the arts as well. And uh, so um, I started to paint back then because um, I asked him how it was to be a painter and to be so expressive in art and having the knowledge. And so he said, you listen, you know, that's so easy. Let's grab some canvas. And he showed me the canvas and we, been, we went to buy some paint and we started to make art. And from that moment on, I made those uh, artworks and I have them on my website as well, <laughs> if you are interested in the arts, but let's keep it to uh, the subject. So, and each time as his mother came and pick us up after the weekend, and uh, because he was doing so well, very happy then, you know, these disorders um, kicked in again. And beforehand, you know, it was maybe only a, an hour drive from home. And he would say, we need to stop every 20 minutes or something. I said, oh no, I got enough of that. And I was <laughs> sitting in, in the back seat, uh, you know, back seat of the car. And uh, he and his mom were sitting in the front seat. So all I did is I kept my hand on his head and said, you're doing a right and stuff. And I was deleting that that so-called will to and need to stop every 20 minutes grab a coffee grab some air because he couldn't handle the energy of his mother and um, before we arrived at the next stop he said just drive home ma'am uh i'm happy going and so i was keeping him in such a happy and peaceful vibration i just worked on his glandular system you know, during the ride, well, conversa well, the conversation was going on and uh, yeah, he thought it was very funny and he knew somehow. <laughs> and, but I did ask if it was okay if I laid my, ha my hand on his head and just perform a bit of um, healing. That's fun, he said. He always said, you're so much fun because I always feel happy when I see, you see, vibes, matter sweet people and we can heal any disorder if only we had more educators more people willing to teach these courses i've been in it in 20 years so i have here a huge online at least to move in your own light degrees because that is needed uh, to be able to uh, load the energies in your system and from your system into another system or organism. And that is how we uh, move into that new arena in light education for children, for youth, for the elderly, for all ages. So um, a lot more about this will come around. This was just, you know, to give you some understanding, it works very very quickly is very doable but i think i think these severe diseases do need quite some support but uh, healing someone with those uh, severe psychosis ptsd whatever um may have like a, a a span a healing span of three months and i'm guiding them to keeping them in it supporting and coaching them and they will be set free within a short amount of time because I've seen it inside out always um, over and over. So to end that beautiful story, what I did, I made an appointment with a psychiatrist uh, for myself because otherwise <laughs> I couldn't um, get into a conversation with her. And so I came in, I said, I'm definitely not here for me. 
and she said, uh, oh, I know you performed quite some stuff with, with uh, uh, person X and uh, I said, yeah, but I'm here for you. And um, I said I was going to sue her. So I recorded that she gave that person medication he didn't need, that he, you know, took that person in quarantine actually for two weeks upon the mom of her of his mother without needing it because the psychiatrist herself would say he didn't need it. I, you know, I sued her and I won the case. So after that hour of consultation with her, I recorded it on my iPhone. And at the end, actually, I told her, look, I recorded everything and uh, I need you to quit your job because you're not professional at all. You know, you don't do anything to heal these poor people that already suffer so, so much. You, after 10 years of being with person X, X, whatever, <laughs> you did not have any results. I have results every day. So that is the difference, sweet people, wonderful people. You know, if only you would like uh, to know about your authenticity, creating a light body, working with the crystalline grids, and the ley lines, the meridians, all the entire earth is connected to it. Then you start a brand new journey and you can do anything with it. If you're in the business and you place the healing capacities within your business, you will flourish like hell. If you want to apply it for the home environment, for your children, your families, that is wonderful if you want to be a professional therapist in the healing modems that are brought through from now on through the divine because everything is moving in the electronics of beautiful um let's say light codes and those light codes transform the body inside out and that is actually where we are heading so I hope you liked a bit of that information and um, yeah, let me know what you think about it um, because I, I, I do know so many people suffer a lot from uh, the manipulation and the monstrous uh, treatments that are going on. So there are solutions and we need to take action together. Together we can do it. We are moving into unity. I'm all there. I'm all there for you to support you, to guide you, to, to bring you to something. But some education is needed. I think that can be understood somehow. If we want to learn another language, we need to learn step by step. The same goes for a light language. Does that make sense? So let me know if you struggle with anything, if you agree upon it, or uh, what kind of topic would you would like me to cover and go deep into it. Uh, because these are just examples. Uh, on the other hand, another great example is, um, I had my mother, like she was 85, and you know, a bit of Alzheimer. And I treated her from a distance, you know, I work on photographs as well, like three hours, three days in a row. And then I went to visit her and she said, I'm so clear, why don't you come and visit me every day? I said, I'm here every day, but you, you didn't remember. And so I gained a lot of confidence because Alzheimer's is one of the easiest things to heal actually. So let's think, is this the age of technology or uh, the age of getting truly retarded with present day information. Let's move it, ladies and gents. Let's shake it and let's open up the age of information and truth. I hope truly you liked that information and I hope you subscribe on my channel so you get notified uh, every day when I come on and so you we can build a community online on youtube 
we can build the unification and a deeper connection because I truly care. Much love to you. Take care. See you next time.